it's moving in. I'll get my things out the car. How permanent is this? Is this what you want? There's, there's just one other thing. You know I'm 42 next week? Yes, I did know that. I want a baby. <laughs> I'm serious. How? I mean, how, how would, would you? Oh, uh, well, obviously, a donor. There's this person I was at the university with. Well, because I have slept with him before, we could just do it. I need to meet him. You will. What would you call a baby if you had one? I don't know. It'll all depend on what Caroline thinks. I mean, if ever, if, if... You and Caroline? You and Caroline? It's true. She does want a baby. Would you really want to go through all that again? No. It's her birthday this coming weekend, so I'm going to take her somewhere nice. It's a little hotel up there. What you have to remember I was so that... thrilled. I was so delighted when he told me you'd book this place. OK. And then you go and book two separate rooms. We can still sleep together. Sneaking around like a couple of sad idiots. I was going to book a double room when I rang up, and then... What? I couldn't. Greg? OK. I've booked a room, so I can join you for dinner if I... Yeah. Uh, shall we? Right, now go to bed. I'm sure neither of you will mind whether I'm here or not. I came back downstairs last night to try and find him, but you weren't here. You weren't in the bar and you weren't in your bedroom. I want to get pregnant. I want to have a child. I want to get on with it. No, look, this was meant to be... Oh, I know what it was meant to be, Caroline. It was meant to be you and me. It was meant to be my birthday. Are you dumping me? I don't think anything ever really started, did it? A couple of embarrassed fumbles. Sorry. Hello. Amazingly, I'm pregnant. I know you've made your mind up about me, and I know I leave a lot to be decided sometimes, but I decided it was worth saying I'm sorry. I, I will try. I would try harder. No. Thank you. My only regret marrying Alan now is that we didn't get that bungalow. Do you think John would give me away? It's traditional. Mum, you don't like Harry's John. Harry's doing a speech about Alan. And traditionally, before that, the father of the bride does one about the bride. I'm surprised you're even thinking about inviting him. John would be quite good at making a speech. Wouldn't you be worried he might say things you'd rather people didn't hear? Well, there was that time you slapped him across the face over at the farm. Oh, yeah. When he snapped all the tendons in his ankle falling off that <laughs> jetty in Porta <laughs> Palenza. Oh, that was... Comical. Then that Christmas when you let all his tyres down. Oh, I don't think he ever knew that was me. Oh, he did. Have you remembered what day it is tomorrow? Is it Sunday? Mum's birthday. Ah, so it is. Yes. Yes. Shame that bungalow fell through. What bungalow? That one you and Celia put the offer in on. Oh, I thought you weren't right keen. Not if it's what you wanted. It was my fault. We didn't get it. She doesn't know. I never actually put house on open market. No, I kept meaning to, but then the, the mother folk came in with that other offer on bungalow. We'll find somewhere eventually. Well, not until they actually do put yours on the open market. She fair had her heart set on it. What about you and Robbie then? <sighs> not worth talking about. Sorry. Kate's driven herself into hospital. She's bleeding. Which hospital? We've got meetings. <laughs> you might be fine. It doesn't always mean what you think it means. I've kept thinking for a few days that there wasn't as much movement. OK, Mackenzie, would you like to come through? Do you want me to come in with you? Will you? It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Um, there's... That's the heart. It looks absolutely lovely in there. Thank you. Sorry. Oh, that's... Oh, when 
did this happen? Oh, day before yesterday. And it's all swollen, you see, all up here. Yeah, black and blue, and his knees in plaster. And he's nearly 80, so you can't take a risk at that age. But he'll get his money back. And he can travel over here in three or four months' time. And what about the rest of the family? Getting enough time off work to make it worth their while. Yeah, you see, realistically, there's no point in coming for less than three weeks. What about Kate? What about Kate? Well, she did offer to play the arrival of the Queen of Sheba for me to walk into. Can you ask her? Can you? I can give you a number. <gasps> oh! oh! Roxy! She's reading politics, philosophy and economics. Are we going to meet her? I was hoping I could ask her to the wedding. You're smashing. Of course you can. Does she look like the back end of a bus? Mum, can you get the plates for me? Yes. Did our Raf ring you up? Well up for it. What? You sure you want him in on it as well? Yeah, yeah of course. And Angus. Hello? Ted! Oh, how is he? How's his leg? Much the same. Dark, bloody cold. Uh, keep hoping it might snow. Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> what the oh. Ted! Oh, no. oh. Oh. Well, let's have a look at you. Oh, you shrunk, you wizened old bugger. Yeah, yeah. hey. Just turned up on doorstep like an hour ago. See the Armitage. Yeah, of course it's true. When did you land? Oh, I don't know, a couple of hours ago. What, his old family, were no, you? No, Sodom, no. No, just me. I think you and I, Gillian, should get back together. Is this why you've invited me? Oh, God, is he tell? Oh. I'm a shell now, anyway, so... Oh, Robbie. You do deserve better. And who better than my mum? She's a handful. More than a handful, let's be honest. She's... Yeah, she's trouble, no two ways. She's worth it. That's part of her charm. I told you, because I thought you'd see the funny side. I didn't think you'd tell your mum. What do you mean, the funny side? I don't understand what's being said. He's too kind-hearted. That's the top and bottom of it. So? So? They'd put an offering on a bungalow. Dependent on my dad selling our old house up. And in the meantime, someone else put a better offering. See, I thought you'd have had him better train. Not yet. <laughs> no, I'm not laughing at it. She's very entertaining. <gasps> By the way, I've been meaning to say, are we still cool, Vincent? Yep. I know you never forgave me over Frank. Did you ever know how miserable I was with Kenneth? No. I married upon the rebound. I know that now, looking back. You'd never have had Caroline. No. <laughs> no, I'd never have had Caroline. Now, I've met Alan again. I'm glad you're so happy, Celia. I really am. We're ready. I've asked Kate if she'd like to stay on for the do after. I hope you don't mind. I, Celia Dawson, take you, Alan Buttershaw, to be my husband, for better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. And to cherish. Till death do us part. Ladies and gentlemen. Sure. Ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, that works. <laughs> Ted Buttershaw, surprise, surprise. <laughs> right, traditionally. We've got the daughter of the bride, Caroline. Oh, shit. When my mum told me that she was getting married again, I said, yes, mother, shall we discuss it in the car? You're serious, you know. And I said, <laughs> my mum, she's funny. She's supportive. She's very loving. She also likes to say it like it is every now and again, but I think Alan's ready for that. He is, without doubt, one of the loveliest, kindest men I've ever met. 
I hope that my mum and my new dad will have years and years ahead of them together. Thank you. Well, he's on as well, I hasten to add. But for some reason, in his head, mine were the only ones with frog spawn. My mother would be saying, how come Alan's all a satiety and you're all a such a mucky mess? I was being shaped as we oh, move seamlessly into the teenage years. He's fine, yeah. He invited me out on his stag do. Last night, did he tell you? No. He was saying he thought. Oh. It don't matter. <laughs> no. And Celia's an equally lovely lady, Mr. Alan Buttershaw. <laughs> I said you had a beautiful body, but you're holding it against me <laughs> tonight. Did you know about this? If I would die the first, <laughs> but my friends out on the coast, Bridlington. <laughs> if I said you had a beautiful body, would you hold? You make me feel so spring has sprung I want to go play hide and seek Just like a toy balloon I'm going. Have a nice Christmas. Yeah, how likely is that? Sorry. You... You have a nice Christmas, too. Today, so young. It makes me love you so. I only know I never want to let you go. She's really lovely, Kate. Oh. She's gone, she went. Aren't they lovely? <laughs> Sod it. I'm gonna make him dance with me. Not Robbie. Come on. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. I got in, I shut the door, then I turned round and came straight back. Do you want to dance? This is like, um, what? Forever? In theory.